Hey guys, back with another quick tip. Uh, I want to share something that I learned to do in Express that's really cool. All I need to do is go over to this plus button. I'm going to go to a custom size graphic and I'm just going to leave it at the size that it's at right now and select next. And then here in this graphic, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to work from a template. I'm actually going to go right to icons and I'm gonna choose an icon. And uh, we'll just use, it came up with food by default. We'll use one of these food icons and I will select it right here. And with this icon, I can do all my typical editing that I do here inside of um, Express. And if I resize it, I can change the size, I can change the color over here. I can do all those typical kind of things, but I don't have a lot of control over this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select download, choose PDF, and then start download. Next, I'm going to go into Illustrator. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and then choose the PDF that I just downloaded. So now I'm opening this up in side of Illustrator and I have all the abilities to edit inside of Illustrator. So for example, if I wanted to select this, you can see it selects everything, but if I go to my direct select tool here and select this outside circle, I could select it and delete it. So I could actually isolate different objects in here or I could select a single object in here and change the color of just that object. I want to go kind of with a color for this turkey leg here. That's not a perfect brown, but you can see here that um, it's very easy to go in here and edit your express images and create something that is very unique. The other great thing about this is, is this is all vector. So if I needed to do a really large piece, I could scale this up and put it on like a bus wrap or a billboard or whatever large scale project that I might need to do. When you're done editing, simply file. And I like to do a save as here just because I keep these files in an AI format, Adobe Illustrator format rather than a PDF. That's my personal preference. You can save these as a PDF and still edit them, but I like to save as an AI. Anyway, that's it for now and I'll see you in the next quick tip.